Boom. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today is the part two of use all this steamy gouache up video challenge thing that I did. If you've seen my last video, which was my Himi gouache challenge, where I decided that I want to use all this paint completely and fill up this sketchbook, probably, hopefully. I mean, there's a lot of paint in here, so I would imagine I would be able to fill this whole thing up. But anyway, in that video, I painted a shoe bell. And if I can open this thing up, and this is what I painted. But spoilers, go back and watch that video because that's where I kind of start intuitively and I'm like, I don't know what I'm painting until all of a sudden I'm like, hey, this kind of, I, it needs to be a shoe bill. And then I paint a shoe bill and it was a lot of fun. So I highly suggest going back and watch that one after you finish this one, of course. In that last video, I asked for some suggestions on what to paint since I'm gonna be painting a lot and y'all actually gave me some really good ideas. So thank you everyone who has commented on my last video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To start with, I'm gonna start by doing your suggestions. Yeah, let's just do it. No particular order. If I can, I'm going to flash up I guess the suggestion, who made the suggestion on the screen, hopefully somewhere around here. But let's get set up. Oh, getting paint on me already. Where did I put this thing last time? I don't, I don't even remember. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, now I'm going to do a couple of paintings, um, but you never really know because sometimes I get really focused whenever I paint and then I take way too long to finish something. And then it's like, oh, I can do a couple of paintings. And then it's like, no, you can really only do one painting because I get really focused on how the grass looks. I don't know. All right, let me just get my camera situated. Okay, we're gonna try this setup. Hopefully you'll be able to see everything. If it gets a little blurry, fear not, I will adjust the camera. Spray this, get it all wetted. Okay, so. First suggestion that I'm gonna be painting is a fairy. I want the fairy to be over here. Her kind of sitting maybe on a stick or something. Hmm. hmm. All right, so here is going to be a face. And if I've learned anything about gouache, it's that the more you layer it up, the better it looks. So we're gonna kind of loosely and bravely throw in a fairy pose. Uh, I am just putting the first layer down because usually when you start painting over top of it, that's when it starts looking better anyways. What colors do I want? Lots of green. Purple and yellow go good together. Maybe wearing something purple and then has like some yellow wings. All right, here goes her hair. And we'll have it be like kind of wavy hair. How about that? Kind of just making these wings up as I go. <laughs> I looked up kind of a pose, like a position that I wanted, um, but that's about it. So. That's too much for sure. At this point, it would be really easy to make her some sort of alien-faced fairy, but that's not what I'm going for. I should definitely let this dry and not mess with it. How many times do I have to tell myself to not mess with it?
it's a little creepy, but it looks like a face. <laughs> and I don't think I can mess with it anymore. Because I feel like if I mess with it more, it's just going to be, it's just going to continue to look worse and worse and worse. And here I am messing with it some more. Okay, so number one is done, I think. Uh, I think it's done mostly because if I mess around with that face anymore, it's probably gonna end badly and I'm mostly happy with it so I'm gonna stop messing with it before I really screw it up on to the next one so my next one is a deer and I think I want to put it on this side I think I want to have it right here ears coming this way to fix this face uh, because it kind of looks like a zombie deer. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. It definitely came out different than I was thinking in my head whenever I chose these colors. But it's kind of cool because it does look like a negative, which I wonder if I put, if I turn on negative, if it would look cool in a negative since it looks like a negative. I don't know. If it, if it looks cool, I'll do it now. And if I don't, then you won't see it. Anyway, I'm going to leave this one. I might come back to it. I might not. Not sure what was going on here. It's like I couldn't get his nose to to look right, but I really like the eyes. I really like his ears. And for the most part, it looks like a deer. Moving on, let me know what you think about it. I think down here, I wanna do a snail. It's been a while since I painted a snail. I feel like I'm trying to use certain colors. There's so many colors to use. If I don't start using some of them, I might be stuck with them. There's a lot of like reds and there's a lot of oranges and I don't usually pick those colors whenever I'm painting. I'm more of a blues and greens. I seem to gravitate towards those colors more. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe today is not my day for painting. Every once in a while, you can paint something really well and really easily. <laughs> and then some days you paint things like this and you paint things like this. And well, that one's not too bad. Yesterday it started out a little bad. I think I need to just quit for today. <laughs> Gouache is hard. And if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Gouache is hard and you win some and you lose some. And today I feel like I mostly lost. I don't even understand what has happened here. The paint right here, I don't know if you can see. The paint is so thick on this shell <laughs> because of all the layers. It probably would have been fine on like layer two or layer three. But for some reason, I thought I needed to keep going, <laughs> keep layering. And it has turned into this. And I apologize for that creepy deer, which I actually kind of like. I don't know. It's growing on me. I kind of like it. I feel like I should stop. But you know what? There's like one, there's one more spot. Maybe it'll be great and I'll end on a high note and maybe it'll be worse than this and I'll leave on a terribly, terribly bad note. But you know what? Just when I thought I was gonna give up, I'm not gonna give up. I'm going to put something here. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Then I'm gonna give up.
Okay, I think that was a complete day of painting. I need to take a break. There's, there's things I like, there's things I don't like, and there's things that could probably use some work. But at the end of the day, this is to practice, to get better, and to do quick stuff. Like, I could spend a week just on these four things. Either way, I think this is a success. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. Let me know if you think that none of them are your favorite. I'll tell you what I like, and I, I tend to like odd things, okay? I really like this ear. I like this ear too, but for whatever reason, the way that the hair is and everything, I just really like this ear. I also really like this eyeball. Um, this one's okay, but for whatever reason, I really like this eyeball. <laughs> I really like this. I'm glad that I did this and ended with this, it's still a little wet, so. Um, I like how it almost looks like the middle is glowing. I love the really dark background and all the little pops of brightness in and amongst the darkness. I think it looks really cool. This is an abomination. I do not approve of this. I'm ashamed of it. We can cover it up, get rid of it, pretend like it didn't happen. On the fairy, I really love her her little dress, her little petal dress. I love the wings. I definitely could have done better on the dandelion that she's laying on. The white just kept mixing and I couldn't get the very white white to go on top of that. But that was just to have something there so she wasn't just kind of floating in the middle of nothing. <laughs> I definitely need an opinion on this guy. Does he look like a zombie? But I love this ear. I feel like I could almost like pet the fur because I like it so much. Anyways, um, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and coming along on this weird collection of things in my sketchbook as I try to get rid of this Himi gouache paint, all of it is gonna be gone. If you like this video, please give me a like, thumbs up. That really is a lot of help to a small channel such as mine. If you would like to watch more of my videos, make sure you subscribe. If you wanna be notified, hit the bell. But either way, thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Frodo, what do you think? What do you think is the worst one, the snail? Copper, which one's the worst? Is this nail the worst? What do you think, boys? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. <laughs>